had some success early. I, like I said, Chuck was a good coach in high schools, and we had a good volleyball program in general. So my first couple years were positive because we did have some success. I was a basketball convert, and I think that uh, um, we we have similar skill. We were tall and we athletic and moved in those ways. And but I think in general I was not the pure volleyball player. And I think uh, it took me a lot of effort and a lot of time to become a good volleyball player. I, like I said, when I got to college, I didn't start the entire time until my senior year. So I, I've, I've always felt like I was a guy that had to train harder than everybody else. And I think in terms of people who get into a sport and quit because they're not finding success, I think parents and coaches and maybe media, everyone focuses on the success element of it instead of focusing on the most important thing, which is the effort part of it and the enjoyment part of it. Are you enjoying what you're doing and are you working hard? That's really what it's about. Because the guys that work hard and have a passion for what they do are eventually going to surpass the guys that are talented and don't work hard and don't have a passion for what they do. So some athletic talent or height or some innate ability, that seemingly innate ability when somebody arrives on a volleyball court for the first time, those don't always translate to long-term success. So if people love what they do and they want to work hard at it, they can always become successful athletes.